In this video, we will discuss the isometric projection, the problem, problem number 6. The question is given like this. A prestum of a square pyramid of size 40 mm and height 60 rests on center of the top of a square block of size 60 mm and height 20. The base of uh, base edges of the pyramid are parallel to the top edges of the square block. Draw the isometric projection of the combination of solids. And a pressure of a square pyramid is given the top face of the side uh, is 20 mm. So when the pressure is given, we will get the uh, two faces the pyramid that is the bottom the bigger one and the top one smaller one we get. And between that they given the height uh, the 60. And uh, the first object is uh, that is a Square, uh, first of the square pyramid and the second object is the square block of 60 thickness 20 that is the bottom and the top we need to place the that first form of the square prism sorry a pyramid the first uh, we will construct the uh, the bottom object that is a, a square uh, a block they give on the edges uh, 60 so give the angle uh, length and angle 60 and 30 60 150 and 60 minus 150 then 60 minus 30. We construct the frame and the thickness they give one, the thickness they give 20, so enter 20 and angle is minus 90. So once we can give the uh, height and then same height should be given to the remaining three corners, go to the move option, switch on the copy, select this and place it to the remaining uh, this front three corners and again hold the control, select this two edges and from the top you pick it and place it to the bottom. The bottom object is constructed that is a square block of uh, side 60 and height 20. Now we will construct the, the uh, uh, pressure of a square pyramid. The first we will construct the bottom that is a 40. So give the angle combination length on the 40, uh, enter, angle is a 30, then 40, uh, enter, angle is 150, then 40, enter, angle is a minus 150, then 40, and then minus 30. So we construct the bottom. And we need to construct the top. Uh, edges that is the thing on the 20 so we need to give 20 enter angle is 30 then uh, 20 angle is 150 then 20 angle is minus 150 then 20 angle is minus 30 so we can check it and uh, we need to draw the diagonal lines to get the midpoint because although these solids are you know axis, axis the center points are in line that's why we construct the diagonal lines to the all the thing. And here the, this height they given that is a 60. So that's why from the midpoint give the height 60, angle is 90. And this is a pressure of a square uh, uh, pyramid. So we need to top we have basically constructed 20 and the bottom is 40. So from the midpoint we need to pick it and we need to place the top of this. So because they given the height 60, then you can delete this. And you can delete this also, diagonal and we don't need. And now go to line, visible line, join this front three, the slant edges. Okay, we need to join to this. So after joining, this all the hidden, so we can delete now itself. And now this center, we need to pick and place it to the center of this one. So go to move, select this object, and from the midpoint, so pick it and place it. Midpoint of the top face of the square block. Then after that you can delete the, the diagonal lines and go to trim option and trim the hidden edges coming behind this pressure of the square pyramid. So once you finish as usual go to scale, select the object, solid this combination and give the isometric scale factor 814, 0.814, that's the center and place it. Okay. This is how this problem should be solved.